Hey guys, MG here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to customize um, Christina's wedding designs. I'm going to be using the version that has the word the in it. The other one has Mr. and Mrs. So for this design specifically, you're going to upload it to your Design Space Canvas. And as you can see, it's one big grouped object. So the first thing I need to do is ungroup it by clicking on group on the top right. And then it makes each object selectable. And then I'm going to create the last name I want to use along with the year. So for this example, I'm going to be using the last name Smith, and I'm going to be copy, copying and pasting the letters that I want. I'm going to press Control C and then Control V uh, after selecting the letter I want, and that will copy and paste it. So Control C is copy and Control V is paste. And I'm going to do that for all of the letters that I need. And I leave the originals in place just in case I make a mistake later on. I then have the original and I don't have to worry about re-uploading the whole entire alphabet. And now I'm going to create the year and the established. I just use the year 2022 for simplicity. And lots of copy and pasting. As you can see, none of them are lined up and that's okay. And one a little, little additional tidbit is the word Smith here. I need to add an S because I'm using the design with the word the, it would say the Smiths instead of the Smith. Cause that would sound funny. I mean, if you want to go try it, go for it as well, but I don't recommend it. So now I have Smiths and the year I want. So I'm going to click and drag my cursor over all the letters of the last name on my canvas. And I'm going to click on align, align bottom. This makes it all straight along the bottom, which is perfect. And now I'm going to click align, distribute horizontally. And what that's supposed to do is give an even amount of space between each letter. You can see it's still a little buggy because there's too much space between the I and the T. So I'll just click and drag my mouse over the T, the H, and the S, and just move those three letters a little closer to the I there. And then I'll do the same over the H and the S. I'll just click and drag my mouse, select them both, and move them. And now I'll click and drag again over all of the letters, click align, align bottom, because in my adjustments I had kind of misaligned them. So now they're all aligned and straight. I can click on weld bottom right. And I'm going to do the same thing for the year over here, the established 2022. Now, if I click align bottom, it aligns them all straight on the bottom, which is great. But if I click on align distribute horizontally, it kind of messes with the year and the established there. So instead what I would do, is highlight just the numbers in the year, click align, align bottom, and then align, distribute horizontally. That'll make your year look better. And then click and drag over the established and the year. Click align, align bottom, and it makes it all look pretty decent. So once it's all highlighted and selected, you can click weld on the bottom right. And that makes it all one object that you can click on and move everything together. So before I begin customizing the design, I'm actually going to click and drag my mouse over all of the alphabet. And that selects them all. If you'd like to do it individually, you can click on a letter and click hold shift, then click on other letters. And that's how you select objects individually in design space. Because there's so many letters, I'm just going to simply click and drag my mouse over everything. And then I'm going to click group on the top right. I'm going to click arrange, send to back. And what that does is it moves all of these letters to the very bottom of my layers list on the right hand side. And it brings the layers of the design to the top of the list. So it makes it a lot easier to be accessible when I'm customizing. So now I'm going to click on the last name that I created and welded. And I'm going to move it into the design. I'm going to adjust the size how I want it to be. And then I'm going to 
press and hold shift on my keyboard. I'm going to select layer two in the design, which is this white one right here. Now they're both selected. I'm going to go up to align and center. And what that does is it'll center the last name both vertically, up and down, and horizontally, because the white strip here is in the exact middle of the design. Now, without clicking anywhere else, I'm going to click on the Slice button. And that will create two new layers. Two new Smiths, last name, and a new layer number two with the name cut out. So I'm going to select this top Smith here and click Delete on my keyboard. And the second Smith that was created, Delete on my keyboard. And now you can see layer two has been completely sliced out, which is perfect, but it's in the wrong spot. Layer two is on the top and it shouldn't be. So I'm just going to click and hold my mouse button down on the layer and I'm going to drag it on top of the layer that I want it to be underneath. And then I'll let my mouse button go and now it's in the proper place. Another way you could do that is just by selecting the layer itself and then using a range move backward. To me, I find dragging it faster. Now I'm going to do the established 2022. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to adjust the size I want it to be and kind of make the placement where I want it to go. Now in this design, the established 2022 is actually on layer 11. So if I scroll down on my layers list on the right hand side, it's way down here on this layer. So what I need to do is make sure I've got my year selected, and I do. I'll press and hold shift again, click on layer 11 in the layers list, and if I scroll down I can see it's selected. And then I'm going to go up to align, I'm going to center it horizontally, and that just makes sure it's in the middle of the design, side to side. I cannot do it vertically, because then it will put it up here with the last name. So as long as it's kind of in a good position, everything is still selected. I'm going to click on Slice on the bottom right. And again, it will do the same thing. It will create, at the top of my layers list, two new layers with the established 2022 and layer 11 with the year sliced out of it. I need to delete the established 2022 layers. And I can see layer 11 is here. So I need to move it back to where it needs to go. So again, you can click it in the layers list, click arrange backward, and it will move it down one layer at a time. Or you can just click on the layer in the list, drag it down. Now it's not quite in the right spot, but I have to scroll down in my layers list to see where it needs to go. I'll just click on it again and drag it down and unclick when I'm on layer 10, and that will place it beneath layer 10 which is where it's supposed to go. So now you can see the design is all done. Before I click make it though, you do need to click on the alphabet here. It's all one group. Click on the eyeball in the top right just to hide it so that your machine doesn't want to cut out the whole alphabet. It's your design. And another idea if you don't want to do any welding or slicing is to use a pen and just write in the last name with your machine or put in a fun saying, something along those lines. I hope the video was helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know.